Sean, you and I are standing in front of this gorgeous, reliable, repeatable, flexible Kitamura machine. But sure. talking with you, we just have to go into some of the details and the specs of this machine because sure. we have customers out there that demand reliability, yes, but also love the rigidity of a spindle that can also go 20,000 RPM for their large diameter and small diameter work. So let's go into some of the specs of this machine so the people out there who are interested in talking with you or other Kitamura folks out there know a little bit more about the details and specs of this machine. Sure, so let's start out at the base of the machine, the integral core. I'm all about that base. 34,000 pounds. Wow. A little bit heavier than some of the comparable um, industry 500 millimeter machines. Why that's important is that superior vibration dampening characteristic. You can be more aggressive on cutting, longer tool life, better surface finish. It's an all box weight machine. It's all, it's induction hardened down to 5 sixteenths of an inch and it's uh, mirror finish, sub four micron finish on this machine. Woo. So just the way they build the machines from the ground up is second to none in my opinion in the industry. I agree. I mean, and we should start with the base and I made the joke, I'm all about that <laughs> base. And it's just so important. I've been to Japan, you've been to Japan, yes, you've sir. seen how they're doing this. Dr. Kitamura does not, he refuses to sacrifice on the thickness of the base and the castings and the importance that goes into the structure because yes, these machines can sometimes cost a little more on the front end when we're making the investment, That's but correct. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, when this thing is still working, we're making money over hand over fist at that point, aren't we? That's correct. It's a lot easier to sell a machine knowing that this is a 20 plus year machine. In Kitamura's, Dr. Kitamura's direct investment in the quality and attention to detail of these builds, and then his his total investment into the U.S. market, is something that is 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 truly extraordinary. His the, the amount of parts he stocks, the the people that he puts in in Chicago at Kitamura USA, everybody there is long tenured. There's not a lot of turnover. It's a true family organization. And it all starts with the way that they build this equipment and kind of the esprit de corps of Kitamura here in the U.S., which was truly a draw for us. And it feels something that we can truly feel great about selling. Yeah, I agree with you, Sean. And I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit about the pallet chain system, sure. the ease of integration, because sometimes we want it with the machine and sometimes we add on later. Absolutely. And I want to talk a little bit about the spindle. Yep. And Dr. Kitamura loves the software, so maybe we can dive into that a little bit as well. But before we get into that, just to give you some time to think and marinate sure. on what's coming next, when I was in Japan, when you were in Japan, they hand scraped the base of this bad boy. But what right. Dr. Kitamura wants us to know is it's not just about hand scraping. They will grind to perfection. But what happens after you lay a heavy base on top of another piece of heavy material? Well, it starts to bend a little bit. And some companies out there will start adding shims because they don't want to take it off, hand scrape, put it back on, take it off, hand scrape, put it back on. Yes, wash and repeat until it's perfect. That's what they do there instead of shimming, which is why some machines don't last those 20, 30, 40 years. Okay, that's my overstated and hopefully inspiring topic about the base of the machine. Let's sure. now slide into the flexibility, pallet chain, spindle, and a little bit of the software. Sure, absolutely. So what's kind of unique about Kitamura and what really helps customers today is that you can field expand the pallet pool on this machine and the tool magazine. The machine comes standard with 50 tools. You can field expand to 100, 150, 200, and 300. The machine comes standard as a two pallet system with either a 500 millimeter or a 630 pallet. So if you have a 630 machine and you can take, you can accept a little bit reduced strokes, this is machine's kind of a tweener between a five and a 630, an extended stroke machine. You can put pre-existing work holding on it, which makes it unique. But the, the benefit and true beauty of being able to field expand is that it allows the customer to get the machine on their floor, get their process proven out before they add automation. They don't feel under the gun and pressure to actually get it fully up and running, fully running lights out. It's a true benefit to the customer. Yeah, I agree. A little bit of spindle. Sure. Yeah, so this spindle that we have on this machine, this machine either comes in 40 or 50 taper. In 50 taper, it comes at 12,000 RPM. In a 40 taper, is 20,000 RPM. It's a 30 horsepower spindle. It's Kitamura spindle that they build and they stock on the shelves in, in, uh, in Japan and most importantly here in the United States. They have over 170 on the shelf. It's a four-step geared spindle. 
So you have the low end torque to hog and you have the horsepower at higher RPM. It's beneficial when running smaller tools and you can remove a lot of material, which HDM has here, which has led to a lot more reduced cycle time. Yeah, darn skippy there. All right, let's do a little bit of the software to close this thing out. We're at HDM Hydraulics today. A lot of folks out there, when they're implementing a new machine, if they haven't already purchased their 10 or 20 kit of mirrors, which some folks definitely yeah. have out there, but they're implementing a new machine, one of the questions is, how easily can my team adapt to that machine? Well, at HDM Hydraulics, we were talking with some of our friends here, including Nate, and he's like, dude, my guys love it. They were able to learn it right away, understand it right away, and love participating sure. in the ease of use of this software. And again, Dr. Kitamura constantly updates software all the time because to him, that's one of the most important things about a machine. Absolutely. So for Kitamura's front end on their, uh, front end on their control, it's Arumatic MI. Some Kitamura spelled backwards. The beauty of this machine is that it's, it's Mitsubishi driven, Mitsubishi drives the motor. But it's really, it, it's a FANUC back end. So it's down to use a FANUC post to this machine. It makes it easy for customers to really transition from a FANUC machine to the RU Matic MI. But the benefit of, of theirs is that besides the free lifetime upgrade on the software, once you buy your Kitamura, uh, is that the speed of the control, the enhanced memory, we're starting at 1,680 block look ahead. And for bold applications or high speed machining, we go up to 8,190, Woo! which is extraordinary. You can, you can edit and run off of the data server. It's truly amazing. It's very user friendly. You can put prints on the control. You can put videos of your setup on the control for changeover. It's truly beneficial for us. I'm just going to close this out with saying when I programmed a few machines in my day 20 years ago or so, I would not have that type of performance from my software and I would sometimes try to program something and it would go past my point then try to make up for it by coming. I would scrap parts like, oh, I got to slow the machine down. The cutting tool can do it. The RPM can do it. The software itself couldn't keep up. That's just my two cents to end this thing out. Sean, you're incredible. Thank you very great much, Lakes Tony. Machinery. What a great representation of Kitamura and what we're doing here at this amazing company, HDM Hydraulics. I mean, by the way, if you hear all the noise, that's because they're putting in work here at HDM Hydraulics. So we hope you can hear us. Uh, we try to speak as loud as we could. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank well you, done, buddy. sir. Appreciate it.